Starts. Well, good time to get in Nimesh, who's going to give us an insight into what's going on in D Street Chatter. Well, Nimesh, it appears a bit of a breather. We almost got, effectively, we got yeah. to 25,000 odd. But we've pulled back a little bit. What's the flow picture looking like? Well, you know, it's a bit of a choppy day of trade. Of course, we've, we've corrected from the from the day's high. I guess there is a bit of algo-based selling which has emerged at high level. So there are some you know technical factors because of which we've seen some bit of profit booking at that 25,000 level mark on the Nifty. But uh, you know, broadly, the sense is uh, uh, don't don't lose sight on the geopolitical risk as well. That has not been a big talking point in dealing rooms as well. Look at what what's going to happen with Israel, and maybe you know that could have a bit of a impact in terms of adding volatility. To the Indian market, so that's something to, to to track as far as geopolitical risk is concerned. From a flow perspective, again, it's a mixed day of trade. Uh, we've been seeing a bit of uh, buying emerging from both domestic and FIs of late. Again, in today's trade, the sense I'm getting is that there is a bit of buying in the PSO bank stock. So that's one space which is well bid, and rightly so because they've relatively out outperformed in terms of earnings this mm. quarter compared to the private banks, uh, pri private bank names. For the August series, of course, earnings are going to be a big uh, big trigger to watch out for. But also uh, mid of August, we're going to see the big MSCI. Uh, you know, rebalancing, which will have a big impact in, in terms of HDFC Bank and overall on the on the uh, uh, India as well. So that's going to add to a bit of uh, buying interest from larger FIs. But you know, the other big trend which is going to emerge, we've already started seeing some signs of it, is the promoter piece, take sell, as in when the earnings get over. Uh, we've already seen few deals uh, got done, and uh, the feedback is there is a very strong pipeline which is going to come as in when you know we see the uh, earnings getting over. So some big uh, big companies are going to see large block deals very soon. Okay, all right. So you have teased us a little bit. Uh, let's get to some of those stocks that you're tracking. Let's get stock specific. Well, you know, so in terms of individual names, the first stock is Adani Energy. It's again back into my chatter list. I spoke about the possibility of the fundraising a few days back. Now it looks like it's round the corner. So a large QIP is in the offering. Uh, companies likely to raise between 6,000 to 7,000 crores by QIP very soon. That is an Adani Energy Solutions as the first name. The second stock is IRB Infra. Well, the stock has been consolidating ever since uh, some of the promoted industry sold stake in the last few weeks. But now I understand that the city is anticipating a large order win as well for the company very soon. Also, there is a buzz that there could be another large block in IRB Infra very soon. The third name is uh, a couple of uh, you know cash stocks where there is a bit of buying interest from larger FIs. So, Dudla Dairy and J uh, Jindal. So, both stand out largely in back of buy flows that FIs. So, expect high delivery volumes in both these names today. And the last is Kotak Mandra Bank. Well, the city has been a bit positive about Kotak Mandra Bank and there's a bit of chatter uh, with regards to the uh, you know, RBI approval as well. Uh, but again, from a flow perspective, there is selling pressure. And again, in today's market, there are sell flows at a leading FI desk in Kotak Mandra Bank. Okay, got it. Um, thanks very much, Nimesh, for that. So that's the chatter. Market's very quiet, very flat. Nifty Bank, Nifty, not moving at all. Let's uh, figure out what the final trade